Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jay Gamer here back again for another video and I hope all of you guys are absolutely having an amazing day. In today's video guys, I have just got to, um, I've got something exciting for you guys. I'm actually going to be showing you on how you guys could actually possibly complete the entire uh, scoreboard in Fallout 76 within one day. And this is absolutely possible and it is very very simple and I don't know, it's it's kind of a like a glitch or a method, whatever you want to call it. But I am going to be showing you guys this in today's video on how to complete the scoreboard in one day. And it is very, very awesome. By the way guys, before we do get into today's video, um, I hope you guys do know, I have been searching around the internet to see if a lot of other people have like, uh, you know, been posting a lot of ideas. And uh, I've, asked, I've had some people show me, and I've had people posting videos of a lot of the ideas and the methods that I have like discovered and that I've came up with in Fallout and I've seen a lot of other YouTubers posting the same things as me so and I, without credit. Now I'm not going to complain too much about that but I really do hope that a lot of YouTubers will give me uh, credit for the ideas that I come up with and methods that I do on Fallout 76 to be able to earn stuff in this game. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there, uh, just put that out there. But uh, it's not a very big issue, but I just really do hope that other co content creators out there, if they're going to post things that, like, something that, like, what the idea came from me, I would get some credit. But yeah. Anyways, guys, enough of that. We're going to get straight into this video, and I'm going to be explaining everything on how to do this method. Okay, so guys, it is actually really quite and simple. So practically, uh, it's practically a method that I have shown back in the past. Now, as you guys can see, this is most of the scoreboard that I have actually completed. And I can actually complete this if I really, really wanted to. Now, I'm going to be explaining exactly on how this works. And a lot of you in the community from, like, uh, that have been on my channel for a long time would actually know exactly how this works. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly on how this is unlimited. So, if you guys go into challenges right here, and if we go down to, let's say, uh, let's go to combat. Now, as you guys can see, I have all of these challenges completed. Now, a lot of you guys do know that you can actually redo these challenges again. A lot of you guys will probably think you guys can't actually redo these challenges again. But, you actually can actually redo these challenges again. Now, it's quite simple on how this works. If you make another Fallout account and transfer the junk that you have currently on your actual account, you can actually redo these challenges on your main account. Now, it's going to make more sense on exactly on how this actually works. So as you guys do know, I'm very rich on junk. I have like hundreds and thousands of like every sort of junk in the game. And so as I have so much junk in the game, I that's, that's where I'm actually going to end up taking uh, advantage of that. So what I did is I made a brand new account. I've made multiple new Fallout accounts. And what I've done is I transferred my junk to those accounts to redo these challenges. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, you've done that, so how the hell are you meant to get all of those atomic points onto your main account so then you can complete the scoreboard? Well, it's very simple. They actually made a gifting system uh, on, uh, on Fallout where you can actually gift anything in Fallout, which is actually really, really cool and something you can actually do. And I found out recently, you can actually, there is, because uh, I've heard some people do it, is that you can actually gift tiers from the scoreboard to people as well. You can actually ask them to do that and they would actually do it, which is actually insane. So you guys can go on the Fallout website, make a support ticket, do your main account, which my one, as, as everybody knows my main account, my main account is J Melody. If you guys want to send me a friend request, feel free to. This is my account if you guys ever want to add me. Um, but what I'll do is I'll tell them, okay, so my I want to send uh, buy to you spend all of my atomic points on this account, and I want to buy tiers for my for this account. And what I'm what they'll do then is it will take a couple of days, and then what they'll do is they'll complete the progress, spend all of the atomic points on my other account where that I completed the challenges, and then what will happen is all of my tiers that I spent on my other account will complete the tiers. And that's how I'm actually getting through the battle pass. So it's actually a lot simple than you think. I know a lot of you guys might find this really confusing. So I'll just practically say the steps all over again. So step one, make a new account, 
Step two, transfer all of your junk that you have if you're rich on junk materials. And then step three, once when you have done that, do all the challenges, which requires of crafting stuff, because if you guys have a look, if we go back into challenges, you'll notice that most of these challenges just require of scrapping items, including crafting stuff, including just like literally just crafting and just scrapping. That's all it is. Or modding weapons as well. So once when you have done step three and literally gotten all the atomic points, step four, you want to sign into your Fallout account on the website and then you want to make a support ticket telling Fallout76 that you would like to gift uh, an item to another account. Then you want to select your main account, it will take a couple of days, they will spend the atomic points and then you guys will get the, the, the tiers that you guys call for the scoreboard so then you guys can keep ranking up. And not right now I am rank 48. So that's practically how this is going to work and you guys can do this method over and over and over. Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking well Jay I'm not rich on materials. I don't have any of that stuff. So that's why as you guys do know if you guys have been around the channel for a long time I always do giveaways and that's why in today's video I am actually going to be giving away a bunch of junk for some winners so you guys can actually do this in today's video. I'm going to give away some junk and I'm also going to be spending the atomic points that I actually own on my second account to you guys to get you up in some scoreboard tiers. So uh, if you guys want to enter for this giveaway all you guys have to do is drop a like on this on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications and please put your gamer tag down below and I'll be choosing out some winner winners in the comment section down below for the giveaway. So practically that's literally how the method works. If you're already rich on materials, do not do the, the steps that I just told you uh, because if you're already rich on materials, you don't really need to enter my giveaway. But if you guys are very poor in the game and really need some stuff, you guys can enter my giveaway to get junk so then you guys can prepare to do this so then you can go up in the scoreboard. Anyways guys, thank you all so much, so much for watching this video. I hope this method and everything was helpful. And good luck to the winners, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.